Hey guys, Abby here. So today I'm going to be doing my year in a review. Um, this is the second, sorry, this is the third time I filmed this video um, because none that's here didn't realise that I had too much stuff on my SD card and I just had to sit and delete hundreds of photos and stuff. Obviously I put them onto my laptop first. Anyway, let's get on with the... It's just going to be one of those videos. This is how we're going to end the year. Um, but it's okay. It'd be like that sometimes. I've got loads of new video ideas coming to you in the new year. So in January, I had my prom and it was pretty good. To clarify things, I didn't go to my actual school prom because I never got invited because I didn't stay on in sixth year. But my friends had a wee prom for me. <laughs> Also in January I went to Edinburgh for a wee trip and I went to see Flashdance and I stayed over in a hotel and it was my first time staying in a hotel without my nana and it was lots of fun and Flashdance was amazing! <laughs> I didn't really do much, I rehearsed for Men Should Weep and made lots of new friends, had good banter uh, and then it snowed an awful lot like cabin fever, go watch my video, I had cabin fever it was horrendous, like I'm the type of person who, my brain works weird so if people are like oh come on out and fake me things Mm, no thank you, I'm, I'm quite okay. I'm, not, I'm not feeling good today, I'm gonna have a wee rest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like stay in my bed And then when I'm forced to stay in my bed, I just wanna get out I'm like, well I wish I was going shopping today, I wish I was going to the cinema today Silly girl So in March I got to perform um, in Men Should Weep And it was my first ever straight acting like no singing, no dancing, it was just acting and I loved it. It was so different and different is good sometimes, sometimes, but not all the time. I also went to see Arcology's production of Our House and I went to dinner with the gals. Miss you Megan. And I went with Jenna as well and it was such good fun and the boys were brilliant. Our boys. So were, so were the rest of the second years, but our first year boys were fab. They were fab. In April, I went on a shopping trip for Florida. Uh, I bought loads and loads of stuff that I didn't need, but I bought it because I wanted it to go to Florida. With A Plus Creative, I got the chance to learn how to face paint properly so that I could do it and get paid for doing it. In May, I got to work at Perth. I can't remember what the thing was, but it was a festival at Perth. Swansea looked cooler, but I suppose somebody needed to stay at Perth. That was me. I had to stay at Perth. But it was quite fun getting to just roam about and I cycled a bike, so I got to go on a bike. That was fun. This room is a wreck I understand that This high's in the And that is how you festival <laughs> Especially at Scooty Oh wow, I bet you couldn't see me in this bit Oh wow, it's actually clean for once Wonder why, hmm, let me think we're the best admin. Yeah, look at this. Well, we've got a wee bit of paperwork, but that's because we're in the middle of doing it. Only one thing to say. 
Boom done, 921. <laughs> I also had my rehearsals for my showcase and that was stressful, fun, terrifying. <laughs> It was it was it was a mixture of emotions. We had a good long cry at one point for two hours, um, because we all just got so emotional over the pieces. In June, I actually had my showcase and it went rather well. It went really good, and I was really happy with my performance. And everyone that came and seen it said that I done great, and that makes me happy because with my back, a lot of people just assume that they not assume but. A lot of people just kind of, oh she's got that wrong for her. but a lot of people are saying if I didn't know you had like your scoliosis and your your rods and your screws I would never have known because that was honestly beautiful and that was about my own choreography that I choreographed my, my own choreography that I, I, chore, I choreographed myself obviously I choreographed myself it was my own choreography um, but I really appreciate it and thank you everyone for the support in July, um, I went to Florida and it was amazing and I met Tigger and I met, all, not all the princesses, but majority of the princesses and I had a great time and it was really fun and the food was amazing and I wish we had food like that. <laughs> Do you know what? True. Go pick me. <laughs> I also worked a lot more with A Plus Creative and I done a lot of dance workshops and acting workshops and it was just it was so nice to like like share my passion with like younger kids and get them interested in it and like help them along. Like there was one boy who was absolute fab, James, um and he came to the hip hop and he came to the cheerleading and he just went for it and I was like Yes, because some of the kids were a bit shy and they were like not really wanting to cooperate but he was like mom let's do it, let's do it and I love kids like that. In August I went more rollerblading and I love rollerblading and I should go rollerblading more often. I really enjoy it because it's something I shouldn't be doing but I do do it. Um, and what I mean by that is because of my back if I fall and hit my back off the ground and paralysation and die etc but if I sit in the house and not do everything I'm told not to do I, I would never do anything at all um, but I can arabesque while we're bleeding so that is fun <laughs> In August I also worked at Reading Festival, it was one of the best festivals of the year, it always is. I love Reading so much, it is my favourite, favourite, favourite festival. And Brendan Yuri was there and he waved at me and he's a gorgeous man and he's so lovely and oh my goodness, what a fab man. <laughs> September I uh, joined the gym and to this day I love the gym. It is one of my favourite places to be. If I'm sad, the gym. If I'm happy, the gym. And that's the end of the story. I love my boot camp class because I just feel like a tank and all the angry music just makes me and it makes me happy. <laughs> and I love my legs bones and times class, my abs class with Fraser. He is fab, what's a fab guy, he's going to be my new PT, we had a meeting yesterday and it's going to be good, I'm excited to start on Tuesday. Also in September I turned the big 1-8 so I'm now 18 years old so that was an interesting one.
I don't like it. Well, that's a lie. I do. I don't care. Um, no things like having to actually phone up the hospital and the doctors by yourself. What is that? Why is that? Is that a responsibility? I don't want that responsibility. And then I had my birthday party and it was freaking awesome. Festival themed, of course, because your gal loves a festival. So can't wait for the many I've got to go to next year. Then in October I had my awards singing splash thing and I won an award for my guitar. I like the guitar. I took my nails off, I did have nails on, but I took them off so I could practice my guitar before going back because Ian will kill me if I don't. He doesn't like long nails because you can't play guitar with long nails, it's just a fact. You just can't. Your fingers get stuck in the strings. Too much stress. Um, so I took them off so I can practice, so lucky Ian. Respect me, please. I have my ghost stories around the world where I got to play a Russian bride vampire thing and it was so much fun. I got to do it with my, one of my best friends, AJ, so respect AJ. AJ is fab. He was my husband. Um, however, I had to divorce him because he just turned up late to everything, uh, all the rehearsals, the shows, like Nah, can't be happening AJ, nah nah nah, we just didn't work out, I'm sorry. Um, but then, when we did it again in November, I got to also be um, a ghost. A wee ghosty. So, as we're talking about November, let's move on. I got to do my college show Zombie Prom, and it was so much fun. It's such a great uh, ensemble show, and that made me happy. Because um, I felt like we were included quite a lot, and... It's just such a good experience and I hope the next show is as good as Zombie Film. I hope. Also in November I had my cousin's hen night and there was a drag queen and the drag queen was hilarious. So so funny. Drag queens from Paisley funnily enough of course. Hmm, where else would the drag queen come from? Um, and honestly it was a night to remember indeed with my cousin Nicola lying on the floor because uh, she fell and I just kind of stepped on over so sorry hun um, but let's be real I was never going to pick you up so thank you to Amy for picking you up Ronnie's coming over to watch her DVD who's cooking dinner? not me then and lastly in this wonderful month December uh, my cousin got married and it was such a good wedding. It was one of the funniest weddings I've ever been to. And I love being with my family. Like, like my whole extended family. Like, it's a small extended family, but it's, they're just so much fun to be around and it's so much fun to be with. They're just a good giggle. And like, I'm, like, even in the ceremony, I've never laughed so much at a wedding. Like, ever. Like, Davey, my cousin's husband, I love him to pieces. He looks after me all the time. He had two watches on. One of them was his own watch and then the other one was one that my cousin bought him because he's always late for everything um, and he wore them both so that was quite good. Um, and then last but not least I got the most amazing experience being in a professional panto and um, I got to play the Ring of Canvas Lang and if you watch my vlogmas you'll see the crazy antics um, backstage but I honestly loved it. I loved working with everyone. I wouldn't have chose anyone else to do it with. It was such a great way to end 2018 because all in all 2018 has actually been quite a good year so I can't complain about it but 2019 I'm telling you is going to be a better year. It is 2019 is going to be the year okay? I've decided it's going to be the year everything's going to happen it's just going to be good. So, thanks for watching. Bye!